There are some killer perks in Dead by Daylight that are just... Why? What the fuck is that? But one misunderstood perk that I think can be redeemed and sometimes useful is Furtive Chase. It's one of the Ghost Faces perks, and each time we hook our obsession we gain a token up to a maximum of 4 tokens. For each token we earn, our terror radius while in chase is reduced by 4 meters. When a survivor rescues the obsession from the hook, that survivor will become the new obsession. I wanted to put this perk to the test and see how useful we could make it, and I decided to go with our stocky boy. That's right, Myers. <laughs> I think Myers is the perfect character to get some value out of Furtive Chase. If we can get 4 tokens of Furtive Chase, it should reduce Myers' terror radius to 0 meters while in chase when he's in tier 2 of Evil Within. Let's go for a build that's catered to staying in tier 2 and see how useful we can make this. For today's build, we're bringing Lethal Pursuer to see Survivor Ores right at the start of the match so we can find him right away. Scourge Hook Pain Resonance for some gen slowdown when we get Survivors on Scourge Hooks, and then Hex Face the Darkness so we can get Survivors to scream when somebody is injured and other Survivors are outside of our Terror Radius. Since our goal is to have a tiny Terror Radius, we should get some tremendous value out of this perk. For add-ons, we're going with the Vanity Mirror. Our goal is to stay in Tier 2 where Meyer's Terror Radius is at 16 meters to get the most value out of Furtive Chase. The Vanity Mirror will allow us to read Survivor Auras within 16 meters when we're using our stock ability. And then our other add-on is the Dead Rabbit. This will reduce our Terror Radius by 25% when we're in Tier 2, making our Terror Radius in Tier 2 a mere 12 meters at the start. Let's go scare some Survivors and get some value out of this wonky perk that nobody likes to use. Okay, Disturbed Ward. And our pantsless Myers. All right, we see three over there, four over there. Okay, everybody's over here. Let's head over this direction. And they're messing up the gen already. All right, we see that Michaela running. Let's go back to the gen. Hey, there's a Fingman. Get off the gen, please. What are you doing? Just acting like you don't see me. I know you see me. All right, let's get this on a Scourge hook. Uh, we saw that Fingman. We ideally want to get her hooked so we can get a stack for this uh, furtive chase. They're going to be just hanging out around here. We need to get to tier two, that way we can start uh, seeing through walls. All right, there's Fang. Stock a little bit. They're still back there healing. You're behind this rock healing. Run away. All right, there we go. All right, now we can start uh, stalking through walls. This is easy mode. All right, so right now in tier two, our terror radius is only 16 meters. Uh, we want to be getting some stacks. That way, when we're in chase, our terror radius is down to zero. So we'll need three stacks to get that, I believe, because we're running the uh, the rabbit add-on, and that already reduces our terror radius by 25 percent. So right now, in theory, our terror radius is 12 meters when we're in chase. Oh, survivors, where are you at? Oh, somebody is upstairs. I think that's a Meg, based on the silhouette. All right, she drops down. Is that... Yeah. Run away, run away. So that little ramp thing back there, you can uh, hit survivors as they're coming up that, if they're staying close to the edge. All right, running back upstairs again. Dropping down again. Just throw the pallet as soon as you can. Don't wait for me to be able to hit you. All right, let's get this on a hook. And here's a boon. Let's uh, snuff that out. 
Don't want that. All right, somebody's gonna be back here. We gotta find this Fangman and get her on a hook. Which I believe she's back here with this Kate. Yep, there's the bunny ears flapping. Come here, Fang. I just want to talk. Okay. We can finally get some value out of Furtive Chase. Let's throw on this skirt check right here. All right. So this will reduce our tear radius by four meters when we're in chase per stack. So right now our tear radius should be eight meters if I'm doing the math right. All right, nobody's going to get her. She dies. Somebody is right here we just saw. That is a Michaela. She's running this way. All right, Kate is our obsession now. And we can just knock you down. Where you at, Kate? Thank you. Come on, Kate. All right, she's just gonna go forward. Let's get this on a hook. All right, somebody's screaming over there. Thank you, face the darkness. Didn't drop down. Running around. Nope. Not jumping down. There we go. Hi, Kate. Okay. So this will be two stacks. So this should drop our tear radius down to four meters after we get this uh, hooked. While we're in chase. Do you make it to the pallet? Nope. All right, Michaela is our new obsession. Although I'm curious if the calculation for this is to take the furtive stacks first and then the add-on. Because if that's the case, 16 minus eight, that's eight. And then 25% of that, it would be six meters. Or I wonder if they just do a uh, 25 off the top, 25% off the top for the add-on. And then the stacks. I don't know. Either way, our tear radius is going to be minimal. If we can get another stack, it's going to basically be a uh, non-existent. All right, there is that's Kate. That's not Michaela. All right, she's going to run back here. Hi, Kate. What's up, friend? So broken. All right, get you on a hook. We gotta find this Michaela. All right, that is Kate out of the match. All right, that's just for basement. That's not a hatch offering. 
So now we gotta find Hatch and then hopefully Michaela. We're only gonna get two stacks of furtive chase, but that's that's fine. Where oh where could Hatch be? Oh, hi, Michaela. Oh, here's Hatch over here. Cool. Let's close that. All right, good night, Michaela. All right, let's get this on a hook and jump right into the next. Yamaoka Estate. I'm not a huge fan of these maps in general. All right, somebody over there. Let's get this close person. Easy stock, all right, they see me. All right, they jump over the side. We can just stock up here. Come on, keep running. Go back the other way, thank you. All right, cool. Easy tier two. Now we gotta find this Kate. But let's give a little chase to this Nia if we can. Not a pallet dropper, cool. I like that. Oh. Dropped it there. All right, let's break this. All right. There are two people and Nia over here. And there's a boon. Don't love that. All right, let's get her down. Just apply a little bit of pressure. Let's find a scourge hook. And then we can put this boon out as well. All right, nobody around here as far as I can tell. Let's break this. All right, they're on this gen up on this hill. I want to say that was a clawed debt silhouette. Yep, okay. Another boon over here. This one's Shadow Step, too. We don't love that. Let's get rid of that. Need to be able to uh, see through walls. All right, hopefully they're just healing under hook. Hey, there's Kate. That's the one we need. Come here, Kate. Yeah, we can make this. All right. Let's get our first uh, furtive chase stack. And a lovely scourge hook right here for us. Thank you. All right, since Nia is still injured, we should still get face the darkness value. I don't see anybody around us, but hopefully we'll get a scream soon. All right, that's still regressing. Uh, 
let's just bust this door open. Easy access for later. We hear, oh hey, there's Nia. Sup, girl? More Scourge Hook value. All right, Scourge Hook blew this one up over here. I've not seen anybody, and I don't think they uh, put that boon back up. All right, so Claudette went for the save. That's going to be our primary target now. All right, there's the Claudette. She got a nice pallet here. Oh, she's gonna play this. She's gonna play this well. She's not gonna pre-drop it. Nope. All right. You gonna play around the window? Come back to the window, let me smack you. Nope. All right. Let's just give chase. All right, there's the pallet. I feel like Michaela, or sorry, not Michaela. Uh, Claudette might be the uh, one with brains in this, in the squad. All right, do you got a vault here? You do. All right, let's follow this. Come on, Claudette, I just want to play. Drop it. There we go. No! Ah! Uh, yeah, okay. I thought for sure she was gonna make that other pallet. Alright, two stacks of furtive chase. And we can probably get this on a scourge hook. Now, ideally, we should, uh, get somebody injured again. That way we can get some face the darkness value. Uh, there's a Michaela just hanging out behind a rock. Oh, no, that's Fang. That looked like a uh, Michaela hat for some reason. There's not even a Michaela in the match. Those damn bunny ears. All right, so Kate is our obsession again. Alright, somebody trying to cleanse this totem. Let's just go interrupt that real quick if we can. Cool. Alright, she's running out this way. Good to know. Eh, we can get this. All right, this should be three stacks. A fur to chase. So this should ideally reduce our tear radius while in chase to either two or four meters, depending on how they do this math, but it's so minuscule. But if we get another one, it should basically be zilch. All right, let's break this. Anybody over here? Nope. All right, Neo went for the save. A 
Let's smack that thing. Light up a face the darkness hex. If we can get this down, let's get this down and then we can find uh, Nia. Alright, cool. Scourge hook value. All right. Nia, oh Nia, where are you? Uh, that's Claudette, I believe. Yeah, that's not Nia. But hey, we're here. Let's get a pallet out of the way. Maybe give her a smack. Alright, she's running this way. Where did you go? I wonder if she has a lucky break. Or a uh, parental guidance. Okay, two people up there. One is a fang. Would love to find this Nia. That is, is that? That is our Nia. Cool. Oh, yeah, we don't get this. Let's just continue the chase. No! Okay. Let's toss you on a scourge hook. Yeah, nah, let's just bring you over here. Because I think you're dead. I don't want to give up that Scourge Hook. Alright. So we've got four stacks. Our obsession is dead, but I don't believe we can get any more than four stacks anyway. Um, but our Terror Radius should be non-existent when we're in chase. Alright, there's gotta be people here. Yep. Hi, Claudette. No. Alright, let's kick this. That way it starts regressing while we're chasing at least. This Claudette actually knows how to play. She's just hanging out at the corner. Alright, she's gonna go camp the corner again. Yep. Alright, let's just chase this.
We should be able to make this. I don't know if this is Claudette out of the game, though, but... Oh, well. It is not. Okay, cool. We can maybe get a little bit more value out of that Scourge Hook. Now, this is an ideal uh, spread for these three gens. But we know somebody is right here. I believe that's our Kate. Damn you, Bamboo. Getting him away. Now this is going to force Fang to get off of the gen if she's on one and go for the Claudette, maybe. Alright. Let's get this on a hook. We're just going to do a regular, regular hook here. That is Kate out of the game. All right. I'm going to guess they just hopped right on this gen in Killer Shack. Yep. They're right here. All right, Claudette just going to camp that corner again. All right. Let's get you on a hook. Oh, actually, here's Fang right here. All right. All right, still laying on the ground right here. Uh, I mean, this feels like an okay build. Um, Furtive Chase is such a, a peculiar perk. I guess that it's good that our tear radius was so tiny while we were in chase. Um, but I, I think Myers is the one who's going to get the most value out of this particular perk. Um, that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Um, uh, if you like this, please leave a comment down below, uh, and let me know and don't forget to subscribe.